When faced with a debate or argument with someone, many of us draw a blank and struggle to effectively make our point, often letting it devolve from a discussion to an emotionally charged argument. In this video, we look at 5 ways to help you debate. Number 1. Be knowledgeable The most fundamental point when entering into a debate is knowing what you're talking about. This might seem basic, but it's surprisingly common to see people get into arguments without knowledge about the point that they're arguing on. Your argument is made up of a claim, why you believe this claim to be true, and evidence to back up your claim. If you don't have all three parts of your argument in place, you will struggle to win the debate unless the other person is less knowledgeable. Number 2. Be convincing Equally as important as being knowledgeable in a debate is to be convincing. Think about it, how many times have people won arguments despite making inferior points? This is because they convince people to think as they do and buy into their claim, even if they don't always back up with the facts. You can do this by presenting a problem that needs resolution, revealing the source of the problem and bringing forth a solution to it. Number 3. Keep calm a vital skill to have when debating is to keep calm and keep a cool head during the debate. By doing this, you successfully set yourself up to gain an advantage as you don't invest yourself into an emotional battle, which can lead to mistakes or arguments being made that put you in a weaker position. While passion can be endearing in some instances, instead of focusing on increasing the tone of your voice, focus on improving your argument. Number 4. Identify personal attacks A technique that can be hugely powerful, yet often isn't used by many is to identify personal attacks. When many are personally attacked, they often choose to ignore it or retort with a similar attack themselves, making the debate more emotionally charged and less controlled. If someone attacks you, use it to your advantage by acknowledging it and then go on to explain why the other person is wrong. From here, you shoot down attempts to bring down your character and can transition to your own points. Number 5. Shift back to your point When you debate and have something you want to say, questions can be derailing to your attempts to make the point. While you don't want to go off track to the message you want to say, ignoring questions can and will be equally detrimental to your argument. This is because people lose faith in your argument when you are seen to be deflecting questions. So instead, work to answer the question, but always aim to transition back to your point, helping you stay focused when in a debate. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads.